So I wanted to um, do an audio recording about a book review that I, uh, about a book that I read in college called The Pact. Um, and I read it in college and it's mostly bad things happen in it. It's based on a true story, but I just wanted to, it was the first, um, book that I uh, put on my website because I thought that it was um, probably the, one of the most interesting books that I've read. Um, so I read it in college and it was based about um, something that the author had seen while she was teaching, while she was a teacher. Um, so basically um, what happens in the book is that it's about um, two teenagers and they live in Connecticut and everything and they are you know come from million dollar families and everything like that um, and their names are Chris and Emily and they've known each other their whole lives and now they're in a relationship um, and they've been going out for a while and everything and they you know they know each other pretty well and like Chris really cares about Emily and he really loves her a lot and everything, but, um, you have to read the book and everything. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but something really bad happens to Emily and she just doesn't feel that there is any way out. Um, you know, cause she gets, you know, pretty good grades, A's and B's and, you know, she's a good student and has a boyfriend and nice parents and everything like that. And she just completely ruins her life and she thinks, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So she decides that she wants to commit suicide and she just tells Chris he's the only person that she tells and um, he tries to make her life better and, you know, just reminding her, you know, of college and the future and taking her to the park and dates and trying to make her life a lot better and um, that doesn't work. She just thinks that her her life is totally ruined because of the news that she just got and um so basically what ended up well kind of tell you a little bit about what happened sort of at the end um just to give i'm not going to give away how it ends but i'm going to give you some details so you can kind of follow along when you are reading so as you get more into the book um after the beginning kind of in the middle of the book Chris, you know, and he's 15, 16 years old, and basically what ended up happening is that um, Emily and Chris, you know, um, are sitting in their Jeep, and um, Chris is, you know, it's parked, of course, and Chris is in the driver's side, and she's right next to him on the right-hand side in the passenger seat, and she's been going on and on about killing herself because of, you know, whatever happened, the secret that happened. And, you know, he's like, no, don't do this, don't do this. And she, you know, puts a gun to her head and pulls the trigger and shoots herself when she commits suicide. And then, um, you know, Chris didn't do it. I mean, I think if anything, he was trying to save Emily's life and he was trying to... Um, you know, make it so she would not commit suicide. He was trying to make her feel a lot better. So he's next to her and he's in the driver's seat. Um, and um, after she commits suicide. And so basically he is blamed for the murder. And a lot of the book is from his point of view when he's in prison. Um, and... Um, Basically, I won't give away the details, but I will so, say that part up front so you can follow along more when you, um, you know, read it. Um, and you have to um, read the book. Um, I would suggest getting it because you have to, I would suggest buying it off of Amazon because you can um see what happens in the end and see if 16 year old Chris is going to spend the rest of his life in prison um so you can kind of see what sort of sentence what prison sentence he gets um and it's called 
the pact and i recommend it there's some good in it and there's mostly bad like it's mostly kind of like a sad book but um it's very interesting um i read it in college and i just wanted to do a re review about it because i thought it was definitely one of the most interesting books that i've read